Hey guys, I am making a short little intro to some clips that I'm going to share with you here um, that uh, we've been going around collecting our different materials. We did go to Home Depot um, about a month, month and a half ago, and got a trailer full of um, uh, decking materials, concrete, things like that, right before or right after we dug the holes. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, the... Um, there weren't any additional videos after digging the holes just because we didn't have the cash flow at that time to go out and buy more materials. So what we have gotten done so far, as you'll see in this video, is um, uh, we were able to pick up pretty much um, most of the remaining materials that we needed for our joists and uh, the lumber and materials for the um, some of the roof, um, some of the decking materials, and we additional two by sixes. We did get a bunch of two by sixes from the sawmill, <clears throat> which I think I may have a piece I might throw in here. So it might look a little bit uh, discombobulated. Uh, they weren't really, you know, full complete. Hey, let me show you what we're doing. But um, just going to show you. We're spending a lot of time just kind of accumulating the um, materials and stuff that we need. So the only thing that we have that I know of right now that we still need is uh, decking. I'm sorry, uh, siding. Whatever goes on your framing right after you frame it, which is siding, first layer of siding, <clears throat> not the finished stuff, probably the zip board that we'll be using there, and then the roof decking material before we put the roofing and stuff on. Just didn't get that right now because the trailer was pretty much maxed out, um, and I didn't want to have extra materials sitting around while that's the later part of the project. We can just grab a trailer, go down, get the last few pieces we need, bring those back in, and use the materials pretty quickly. <clears throat> so, um, we got we scored a great find in uh, in Springfield, Missouri, on Craigslist uh, area, um, where they had uh, some really cool casement windows that are pretty large. We wanted great large windows without the mullions in it, the little grid pattern thingies. Um, and these came out of a $750,000 house, so uh, their windows are really high quality. We just need to do some trim around those, and uh, you'll see that in one of the videos. And then um, the next one is just these guys uh, putting together our front deck and rear deck materials on top of uh, some of the other decking uh, as it's being loaded onto the trailer. So here you go. Enjoy. We're getting closer, and uh, the, the project is going to be pushed off probably a little bit after Christmas because the uh, bump out back over this way where Kelly's sitting, um, that whole bump out has to be removed <clears throat> to open up the space on this side here so that when we are building the addition over here, um, we can build it right up to the trailer. So um, if we remove the bump out right now, it's pretty cold. It's in the um, mid thirties and stuff um, each night. And uh, we got family and stuff coming in um, in the next week for Christmas and things. So we just said, well, let's just go ahead and prep, get the rest of the materials and stuff we need, dig the lines for septic, things like that. Do the other things, prep work we need to do uh, to get things rolling while um, we're just waiting to get Christmas over with. And then we'll, oh, excuse me. Then we'll build after that. But here you go. Take care. Bye-bye. John with Offgrid Homesteading just made an awesome find. Uh, we found on Craigslist some really, really nice casement uh, crank out windows and stuff here. I mean, this trailer is uh, seven, seven feet wide, so we got, you know, basically an eight foot window here with a, uh, um, what do you call it, a window up here at the top and some screens, doors. Just had to go get them, and guess what? Price? My favorite price. Zero. It was free. So, here we go. All we have to do is basically do some uh, trim around this and we got ourselves, um, I think, double or triple pane windows here. So, um, pretty darn excited about that. Okay, catch you guys later.
you can go right in the trailer, it's fine. You're good. Yep, you're touching. Is that gonna be okay where it's at? Yeah, as long as the trailer, the uh, lid can close, we should be good. I just slapped that other dude right on top.